she pro p pro p pro p pro ke pa sa sa pa se wa de do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the meds first thing first my disclaimer big up to all the decent good cops honest cops out there however people it seems as if we have to change the name of the JCF from the Jamaica Constabulary Force to Jamaica Corruption Force. And people, I am going to give you four references. The first reference, Shelly Ann Allen, that officer that has been a JCF officer for in excess of 18 years. However, she was recently arrested, convicted, charged for the smuggling of in excess of 1,000 grams of cocoa. And what makes it even worse is that she has a pending charge where it is said that she is the mastermind lottery scamming syndicates for in excess of 1.6 million US where she swindled in excess of 20 elderly people in our Wisconsin. So therefore, that is one. There was a recent incident in which a man in a red hills, he was held with some weed. The officer tried to bribe him. His wife reported it to the upper echelon of the JCF. This man was taken out in wife after runway take care herself. When we talk about the Donna Lee case, where we see an ex-officer, Noel Maitland, and a district constable, Shellyan, they were both implicated. Noel was charged officially. However, people, there is a case of a lady called Chantel Blake, Chantel McCullough case, some people call it. Pretty much this lady, it is said that her husband is a suspect in the missing and takeaway of this lady. So, people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look. To an interview that was done with the mother and also Andre Stevens. He is doing an excellent job, if I say so myself. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. What is happening? So you're telling me, say, after the man supposedly killed your daughter, him now I say him want the remains. When want the remains? What him when want the bone them for do? Me no know, me no know Andre, me no know Andre, but if the last time I forget it, Andre, there's going to be another death in the family. Because me know me I lose my mind. I mean, I'm not far from losing it. Mm. And me know me I'm going to lose my mind, Andre. I mean, you can't take the child, Andre. I you take the child for um, how many years? Mm. Nine, ten years. I you take her away from the whole family? Mother side, father side. You rob her for a little child. You rob her for a little for enjoyment, she don't know nobody, she don't have no outdoor experience. You, you take her out of Kubaro, then you kill her, and then you want to go on the man to Jesus Christ, man. Somebody must get out there in a Jamaica. Now, people, just to give you some details this lady was married to this man, the husband. They have a construction business. However, it seems as if the marriage was not working. There was trouble, problems in paradise. So therefore, she sent him a letter. Listen, I want to end this relationship. Here's the pink slip. However, soon after, she lost her life. They have maybe about three to five people. I mean, I remember how much it is. However, it is said that after this lady lost her life, the family went to the Matilda Scarner Power Power Station. Don't quote me. They went to some sort of Power Power Station. They filed a missing person report. The person that is involved in the investigation, it seems as if him and the husband, them are body, them are drinking body. It seems as if the husband reached out to the Power Power Station before the family and was giving them some sort of monetary gain, some sort of bribery. So therefore, they were giving the family the runaround. What made it even worse is that after this lady lose her life and was missing, the man take away himself 
and him take the pick of them and him move. I'm not going to say permanently. He went overseas. People, remember the lady gone. Remember the lady body they out there. Remember the people them got to the poor poor. Make a complain, missing person, everything, D E A D complain. And people, nothing has been done since that. However, what makes it even worse is that upon the frustration of losing a daughter, upon the frustration in getting no sort of assistance from the persons that are supposed to serve and protect. Now that this lady gone and missing, the husband has said, because he is the husband, he have rights to the body. So therefore, he wants the body so that he can bury the B-O-D-Y because he have the pity of them, he have him freedom, he have the business. So therefore, he also wants the remains of this lady. Now people, remember, this is the same man that pick up this young lady, have her lock up in the house, pretty much like a trophy. She not gone away. She not have no friend. She have her family. She live a sheltered life. Decent girl. No sorts of mix up and passa passa. However, he would take advantage of that. And then after, the lady missing under controversial means, him take what the pit in them, him bribe the poor poor, and then people, you could hear the frustration, the frustration of the mother in this interview. Pretty much she is saying that she's at her wit's end. She is traumatized. She is a emotional wreck. She lose her picnic. She lose her daughter. The daughter and the kids the sons and the kids lose them daughter, the sister. The whole family is in shamble because of this one man's action. And what is even worse, it seems as if the poor poor they are turning a blind eye to the whole situation. It seems as if they have zero conscience. It seems as if they have zero heart. It seems as if they don't have daughters. They don't have sisters. Them don't have mother. Because it is only somebody with that type of characteristics would do something like this, people. It seems as if the JCF, they have no regards. It seems as if they don't care. It seems as if they've never heard anything called damage control. It seems as if they no longer want to be respected. It seems as if they don't no longer want that name, JCF, Jamaica Constabulary Force, to be seen as a reputable law enforcement agency. And people, this is my disclaimer once again. I believe that most people are honest, hardworking, want to see a change wants to make a difference in a Jamaica. However, it is contaminated, infiltrated with so many bad cops, raw cops, and I am speaking about from the head of the stream down to the bottom of the stream. People, it is very, very bad. And Jamaica should not have to put up with that. Victims that have lost loved ones, mothers, fathers, they should get justice whenever them lose them picnic under any sort of controversial means. These poor poor shouldn't allow their licky lickiness, their greediness to make them choose on the side of the person that have the funds, money talk and BS walks. It is supposed to be right versus wrong. It is supposed to be a professional organization that looks out for the best interest of the people of the country not the rich people of the country not who can pay off for them to turn a blind eye and people it seems as if that is all the jcf is doing not all of them however a very big percentage of people and people that should not be so
point blank and period. So people, when we take into consideration those four cases that I mentioned, Shelley and Allen, smuggling, lottery scamming, mastermind, the incident that occurred as it pertains to three popo from the Constant Spring popo station, bribery that turned wrong, turned to M-U-R-D-E-R. The Donna Lee Donaldson, Noel Maitland, Katyan, and then the McCullough case. People, we see a very disturbing trend as it pertains to the JCF. And people, these are only cases that most persons are familiar with. There are other smaller cases, and I would not say smaller because people are get abused, people are lose them life, people are get missing. However, people, these are recent cases. Back to back to back to back. Four times, people, only in Jamaica. This cannot happen in any other place. There is no source of blatant, rampant, brazen corruption anywhere else on Massa God Earth other than Jamaica. People, it looks very bad. And what is even worse, the upper echelon, the prime minister, the commissioner, security minister, justice minister, nobody is saying anything. So people like them say silence means consent. Is that the fact? Or it is just they are waiting for the investigations to be done like them always claim. So anyways people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.